We run a company called Choreo Tours, which specializes in uh, tourism and cultural projects with North Korea. In the late 90s, Dan Gordon contacted us about the story of this team, this North Korean football team, who in 1966 created the greatest shocking World Cup history by beating the Italians. They came as a thousand to one outsiders uh, and played the most incredible football and were adopted by Middlesbrough as the home side. But on their return back to North Korea, they were never heard of again. In 2002, after an enormous amount of work, we actually tracked down the players. We were told that we had permission to go to North Korea to film them. We made the film and uh, showed it to them, and subsequently, over a very boozy picnic, they said, you know, we'd like to return to Middlesbrough. And before we knew it, uh, we got the British Embassy involved, and we were back uh, with the players in Middlesbrough. To date, that's been the biggest uh, yeah, it's, I think it's been the biggest cultural exchange that, that DPRK North Korea has had with the rest of the world. I mean, to send off, you know, back their players. In all, we saw 120,000 fans uh, who just welcomed them. I mean, they were the home side, and, and in Middlesbrough, they still see them as, you know, as, as a local team. Perhaps the most amazing thing from all of this was not just the amazing football, but the idea that the enemy, uh, the North Koreans, had come to Middlesbrough and be taken along as the home side. And Pat Dewey, he, he told us his thoughts, and he said, the English people took us to their hearts and vice versa. I learned that football is not only about winning. Wherever we go, playing football can improve diplomatic relations and promote peace.